Okay, this one is to do on video is to do on my boat security and what I'm going to use. I picked this up yesterday from Charlie's. It's the same as a mall in America, I believe, or whatever. Um, and it's a hitch lock, so or a coupling safe as they call it. $15.99. I'm not going to argue with that. And it comes with a padlock. Padlock's not the best in the world, but uh, I'm not going to argue. So, get him out. I'll show you it fits and the box falls apart. So I'll put him on there. So that comes with it. This does not. These are four padlocks. I'll pick them up. I bought these separate. And these are for the cab and the hatch on the top of the boat. I'll show you them. And they're for waterproof padlocks. They weren't that bad price as well. I can't, I'll get it if I find it. I'll put the link in the description down below. So I'll put them out of the way for now. Okay, here's the padlock that came with it. Not the best. I've got I've got another padlock I shall probably use, but just for now I'm going to put this one on. Seems to be okay. Right, so to fit one of these things, it goes this way up. So these slots here are going to go underneath the handle. And what that means is this cannot be pulled forward. It can only, well, stay in place. So to fit it, sorry, the missus' car's in the way a little bit. You can see that, but you can get around that. So the idea is, under the towing hitch, and slide it. Mine's got a link wire as well. So it's on. <laughs> and underneath mine, if you can see this here, I think that's for an extra link for the chain to go around that links around the ball on the vehicle so it doesn't come off. So that's quite good really. And they've, they've made a, a slot for that as well. So, <clears throat> a little bit of jiggery pokery. And it goes right over. And then, slide your bar in. It can go either way up, it doesn't matter which way. I'm going to put it upside, oh, I say upside down. So it comes through the other side, and you'll see the holes line up there. So if it's, if it's a bit loose fit, and it can go any further on, you'd put it in this one. But, I mean, you could actually put it in that one. So the handle's in a lock position. I'll have a little go at that now, just to see if it fits. Let's have a look. Two seconds. So the more secure, the harder you make it for anybody to get in, the closer the better. So let's lift the handle up. Oh, I don't know if it's going to fit because it's... No, it's not going to work because the bolt's in the way. I can't go any further forward than that. Just try. Again, just to make sure. No, it's not going to... Unless I can lift that higher. No. So... Same with the original plan then, through, line it up, we've got that wire in the way there, that's him. It doesn't matter which way around you put it. I'm putting it that way around so you don't see the lock. And then through. Yeah, I mean, yes, if one really wants to, they're going to get it off. We're going to have some trouble getting an axle through there and whatnot. But apart from that, it just makes it feel a bit more safe. And it's using a nice bit of kit, the boat, so I'd like to keep it for a bit longer. That's that one done. So, I'll we'll just uh, climb aboard. Ooh, a bit wobbly on the steps. So I've got all together four to put on, which is this one, which is the battery case. 
so the battery's in there and a spare fuel tank empty. And then this one, which is the main fuel tank, a uh, breather pipe, not a breather pipe, uh, a suction pipe, so you can, if you've seen one of these, I'll show you this, hold on one sec. And there's a little bit of material I was showing you, a bit of security. But this is a um, wobble hose, I think they call it. Ball bearing in there, shake it up and down. Uh, it'll draw the fuel up, in, around, and then I can fill my tanks without taking them out. Just so I'll show you that one. You can get these off eBay or anywhere, really. Gravi like a gravity-fed hose. If I find out what the link is, I'll put that in the description down below as well. So we've got, anyway, we've got a padlock to go on there. Padlock to go on that one. And then, I've already got one on here, which, which is okay, but... That out. Another one this side. I, mean, I want the waterproof ones on, that's why I'm doing it. And then uh, inside the cab. And that's it really, that's what I want to do. So, we've got... the trouble is with these, they, they come, and I thought they'd all be the same lock, you know, the same key, which would be a bit silly really, and they're not. They are actually different. Each key is different. So, <laughs> somehow, which I think I might do a good go to work, because at the school they've got a punch tool, and I'm going to punch a letter, and then number this as well. So I'll punch like punch tool number one in those three keys there, one one one, and one on that, and then two, and then three and four. So I've got three keys. One's only got two. But anyway, so that's it. That's my security for the boat. Um, hope you enjoyed the vid. Take care. And all the links I'll put in the description below for the locks, and the lock at the front as well, as well, and the wobble tube, the wobble tube. Cheers. Thanks again.